All right, here comes the test firing of the wood gas camp stove. We've got a New England clam chowder can. I put holes, quarter inch holes, most of the way around the bottom. I did leave a place here where there aren't any holes in case, in case the wind affects it. I can turn this either against the wind or put all the holes towards the wind. And we'll see if that makes a difference at all. If not, uh, I can put more holes in the bottom, but uh, you can always put holes in the can, but it's hard to take them back out. And over here we have a Coca-Cola Zero soda can, which I used a can opener and took the top off. We've got a Phillips screwdriver size holes around the bottom and also about an inch down around the top for the air to get in. Nothing on the bottom, the absolute bottom of the can, just around the bottom down here and holes across here. So, and this will fit down inside the New England clam chowder can. So, fits down in there like that. Kind of try to keep it centered. And what we've got, uh, save the lid in case we need the lid to put the fire out or whatever. This one here you probably can't cook on because there are no uh, no gaps here for the flame and, and air to come out. So this is just a prototype. We'll see if it works. And I'm just going to put in regular stuff. I've got I've got some bark we can put in here. Little pieces of wood. Just anything you would find if you were out camping. Try to keep it simple. Just dropping sticks of wood in the soda can here everything and we're just gonna fill it up until it's about even with the holes the top holes in the soda can because that's where we want the wood to end with we want the combustion of the wood gas to start now we even have some birch bark that'll help start it up and I'll just put in a couple more twigs I want to let it breathe so I don't want to fill it up too much and I'm gonna use the label from the clam chowder has a fire starting helper for this time around. Okay, I've got some wood loaded in there. Some room. I'm gonna put in about a cap full of rubbing alcohol just to get it started. If I had leaves, I'd put those in instead, but yeah, because it's winter time, leaves are all under the snow right now, so we're going to cheat a little. All right, we're looking inside the can now. If you can see those round, uh, bright orange spots, I'm trying to get around this side, another one in there, right where that bright spot is. Uh, that's where the air is coming in and igniting the wood gas. So you can see where the holes are. There are these little mini fires glowing from the wood gas coming up through the center. So it's, it's drafting the air up from through the bottom and pulling it straight up through the can, which is also drawing in the fresh air from around this uh, gap between the two cans. And it gives a flame and the smoke makes it more visible as far as what's going on. And 
and it's burned uh, maybe about half of what I've put in it. Still got a ways to go, but if you look right in there, you can see those little little flames. And with the wind, they're kind of bouncing around, getting bigger and smaller. But it's it's definitely happening. All right, I just put a few more sticks in there, a couple sticks, and uh, now you can really see around the inside of that soda can where the holes are. You can see the flame, almost like a, almost like the flames on a propane stove. As the air is being drawn in, it's mixing with the wood gas and burning, yeah, just like it should. Other than that, there's very little flame up top here now. Most of it is down inside the can. And there's a good amount of heat coming out of there now too. Well, it seems now that the fire is mostly down in the bottom of the soda can. The holes about an inch from the top are really coming into play now. You can see they almost look like uh, jets on a propane stove. Some of them have a bluish tint to them now. <laughs> 